Ever felt the rush of wind in your face as you speed around a track, maneuvering sharp turns? Welcome to the exhilarating world of go-karting. But have you ever wondered about the science that makes this thrilling experience possible? Let's dive into the physics behind go-karting. Go-karting is a popular activity enjoyed by people of all ages, offering an adrenaline rush like no other. These small four-wheeled vehicles can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, powered by petrol engines. Designed for racing, go-karts have low centers of gravity to improve stability and handling. To understand go-karting, we first need to grasp the principles of motion, starting with Newton's first law. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an external force, like the engine propelling the cart forward. Newton's second law tells us that acceleration is directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportional to the cart's mass. This means a heavier go-kart requires more force to accelerate than a lighter one. Turning a go-kart involves a combination of steering and weight distribution, creating a centrifugal force that pushes the cart outward. The driver counteracts this force by turning the steering wheel in the opposite direction, allowing the cart to follow the track's curve. Gravity plays a significant role, pulling the cart towards the ground and creating friction between the tires and the track. This friction allows the cart to accelerate and turn, but also creates drag that slows it down. To overcome drag, go-karts are designed with low centers of gravity to improve stability and reduce drag. Speed and acceleration are crucial in go-karting, with faster carts generating more force and increasing acceleration. External factors like air resistance, track conditions, and weight distribution also affect speed. Go-karts with lower centers of gravity and wider wheelbases have better stability and handling, allowing for quicker acceleration. Tires with softer rubber compounds provide more grip on the track, enabling faster acceleration and higher speeds. Acceleration isn't just about speed. It's the rate at which an object changes its velocity, crucial for quick direction changes. Weight distribution is critical, affecting how the cart handles and performs on the track. When accelerating, braking or turning, weight shifts from front to back and side to side, impacting stability and speed. Friction is fundamental, allowing tires to grip the track and propel the cart forward. Factors like tire pressure, tread, and track conditions affect the amount of friction generated. Air resistance, or drag, increases with speed, slowing the cart down, which is why aerodynamic designs are essential. Track conditions, whether wet or dry, significantly impact how the cart handles, accelerates, and turns. Safety is paramount in go-karting, with proper gear like helmets, neck braces, and gloves being essential. Modern go-karts come equipped with safety features like roll bars, safety harnesses, and bumpers. Well-designed tracks with adequate width, runoff areas, and safety barriers are crucial for safe racing. Strict operational protocols, including driver briefings and speed limiters, enhance safety. The history of go-karting dates back to 1956, evolving from a backyard invention to a global motorsport phenomenon. As technology advances, go-karting is becoming more accessible, environmentally friendly, and technologically advanced. So whether you're seeking thrills or improving skills, go-karting offers something for everyone. Remember, safety first and enjoy the ride.